Good morning from our first full day here in Hong Kong. If you saw our previous video, it took us about 43 hours to get here, but we traveled in very nice business class on Singapore Airlines. It's shower time. This is gonna feel so good. I feel so smelly. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out after this one. It is 7.30 in the morning and we have already been awake for four hours now because the jet lag is very real today. But it did give us an opportunity to plan a little bit more of our trip here, so it wasn't all that bad. And as always on our first full day in a new place, we are sharing our first impressions today. So we are currently going up to the top of Victoria Peak to get insane views of Hong Kong. We just bought our tickets here, we didn't buy them in advance or anything, but it was only 148 Hong Kong dollar for our ticket with a return. We get the Peak Tram and the Sky Deck included in that. I just need you to know that when I was sitting earlier, I was back here. This is so steep! Anyways, it is nine o'clock right now. So I feel like we nailed it on the timing. We got here at 8.30 and the mall area is not quite open yet, but actually it seems to be opening up now that it's nine and the people are coming. Timing also worked out super well because if you couldn't tell, we were some of the only people up there. We had the view relatively to ourselves. I'm sure it gets packed during the day. So it was nice to get here pretty early and have a much more calm experience than probably what it's like midday. I'd say it was also definitely worth it to do the Sky Terrace. We didn't quite know why it costs more, but now I get it and it was worth it. Okay, we just came down from the Sky Terrace and we were walking around Lugard Road, which is another like panoramic road around Victoria Peak up here. And so we were walking along here and when we came out of the Sky Terrace, there was this like archway thing to like signify the start of like a run or a walk and we're basically in the middle of this walk for a change now. And I think the best part about it was, we weren't surprised that they were starting, but basically we heard them count down and then the horn go off. And then all of a sudden, footsteps, like very, very fast footsteps. <laughs> it felt like we were about to be trampled and we're just like out here trying to do a casual walk. <laughs> we're just like looking at the view, like chilling, and all of a sudden stampede. Thankfully, there are only like a handful of actual runners and the majority of people are doing the walk walking, but <laughs> there was like 30 seconds of like a little bit of a panic, not gonna lie. The views aren't as good yet or right now as they were on top of the Sky Terrace, but this whole area is absolutely beautiful. It's very lush and green. I think the trail heard me because as soon as I said the views aren't that good, it kind of opened up a little bit and we saw another view of the harbor and you can kind of see the hill that we were on now oh, wow. facing that way. So it's actually really, really pretty now. You can see the whole thing. Look at yeah, that. you can see the Sky Terrace that we were just on top of. Oh, and Sarah Sorry. stepped on my shoe. I'm too busy looking at the view. <laughs> It is also worth mentioning that you don't necessarily have to take the tram up. You can walk up to the top of Victoria Peak. Not exactly sure how far it is, but it doesn't seem too bad. It just seems kind of steep. The stairs that were up to it along the tram looked a little challenging. You also don't have to go to the Sky Terrace. There is an option for just taking a tram up and down. The return price is 88 Hong Kong dollars. So one of the first impressions that we've gotten, especially since coming up here, is just how much natural beauty there is in Hong Kong. Obviously the buildings in the city aren't natural, but the mountains and the ocean mixed with the buildings just adds in this really cool dynamic. And it's just absolutely stunning. Here we go again.
Well, we have about 45 minutes until our lunch reservation. So right at the bottom of the peak tram station, I guess you could call it, is the Hong Kong Park. So we're gonna take a quick little walk through here before we head to lunch. Well, we found uh, the Olympic Square here in the park and we made the mistake of sitting down and now we are feeling it. Apparently we've already walked six miles today, all before noon. <laughs> so that explains why we're kind of feeling tired. We've also been awake for eight hours at this point because we were up at like 3.30 this morning. But now it's time to eat because we're starving. All this walking, I'm suddenly very, very ready to eat. Yeah, I was ready to eat before the walk, but. <laughs> Ooh, that lunch was absolutely fantastic. We are so full now. We just popped into 7-Eleven and got some octopus cards. You just load them up with money and then you can tap those on or off to get onto the public transit here in Hong Kong. So far, Hong Kong is absolutely fantastic. Just scratching the surface of it, walking around here is great. The hustle and bustle of a Saturday afternoon is really, really cool in my opinion. The city is very dense, at least kind of the areas that we've been in. So it feels, I don't know, kind of like that, like organized chaos in a way that I feel like I personally really enjoy, but what do you think? Oh my God, I'm going right now. Give me a moment, I need some water. First impressions is I really like Hong Kong. Like I find it very fascinating and a really cool city. When we were walking around Lugard Road, you could really feel how big the city was and how just beautiful with the lush landscape and the mountains and the water and the cityscapes, like all the buildings. It's really cool. Um, and we've had really good food today so far, so, so far I'm really liking it. Guess what we found? Gong Chong! Our little favorite bubble tea spot. Our obsession with Gong Cha began in Australia because we just, I was obsessed with bubble tea. Introduced Kato to it, he was like, wait, this is really good. So. We've been obsessed with Gong Cha since Australia, then we got it in Singapore, and it's in Chicago. So now this is our fourth country that we've gotten Gong Cha in. The plan for the afternoon is to take the ferry over to the other side of the harbor and check out there before we get some dinner later on tonight. We are at the Cultural Center and the Walkway of Stars. Very cool area, it's very crowded on this Saturday afternoon. It's absolutely beautiful out. We got here using our octopus cards. It was 560 Hong Kong dollar for each of us. We're on the lower deck. So I think it costs one more dollar to go on the upper deck. Might take that on the way home, to see what the difference is. It was, it was great though. Overall, good experience. The view of the city across the harbor is absolutely stunning and the sun is coming out now, so it's getting a little brighter. Everything's looking a little more colorful than kind of the gray that it was earlier with the clouds and really cool to see. It's lip gloss, is popping. <laughs> sick because my legs hurt. So we walked over 10 miles today. My legs are sore and my vibe is very high because this place is absolutely gorgeous like we've said all day. It's a really unique city and reminds me of a few other cities like New York because it's super big and has all these skyscrapers and it's so busy, lots of people. It also reminds me of Bangkok just because that's another big Asian city that we've been to that's like that got that hustle and bustle. Also Singapore but Singapore has like I don't know how to describe Singapore but it's definitely like more like sterile, I guess, than Hong Kong. And then Hong Kong also has the influence of like the British 
from years ago and that's super interesting to see that and, and it's just really interesting and really cool. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. You heard it from Sarah. Awesome day in Hong Kong. We absolutely love it here so far. And we've just barely dipped our toes into everything this amazing place has to offer. So we are excited to explore more. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to not miss any more of our future adventures. And we will see you in the next one. <laughs> this actually looks wild. Does it? Because your body is, is separate from your head. <laughs> Doesn't look that weird. <laughs> you get like the leggings. We're looking long. My close up. You look good. <laughs> Where are we? Hong Kong. <laughs> I was like, wait, are we in? Yeah. It's the harbor. What are you laughing at? <laughs> you just, I was trying to be out of it and you just kept coming this way and I was like. Oh, because I thought you wanted to be in it. <laughs> no, I'm trying to check my water bottle.